What's up guys and welcome to another Modern Warfare 3 video gameplay but today I won't be commentating on the actual gameplay itself instead I will be showing you guys how to get the most XP how to get the most points in a match you know you know going so it's it's pretty easy to do and if you stick around to the end of the video and you you listen you take notes so you just listen and you take into account of what I'm saying even though I could be boring like now and I ramble on about you know pointless crap like I usually do but if you stay to the end, you know, there's some good tips in here because I've prestiged without any prestige tokens in 19 hours of gameplay. And to say I w I'm not that great at Call of Duty, that's not bad. Prestiging in 19 hours of gameplay, game in time. You know, it's it, it's not that bad. And the other one, I'm pretty much at level 78 now on first prestige. Uh, sorry, that was my phone. Uh, level... Um, Sorry, I've lost what I'm saying now. Uh, first prestige level 78 in a day and 13 hours. So, you know, you know, I don't rape every time I come in this game, but I'm sure if you just, you know, get a thousand kills like, you know, my my subscribers do and the people that watch this video are all beasts. So, I'm sure you all get this. And I'm sure you already know this, but it's still gl it's still good to get like a reminder of how to do this. And I know Black Ops 2 is coming out, so it's a good way to get the most points before Black Ops 2 come out. Because you know what, we're all gonna get that game, aren't we? Yeah, we are. So usually collect 50 points by dog tags. I know, but I've got double XP, and if you got any, you know prestige tokens laying around and I know extra custom classes can be nice but go for double XP guys I swear to god just go for double XP because you know extra custom class you can there's no real point to it it's, it's nice to have but you can collect them on the way and stuff and all that but that's just personal opinion there and I got a challenge there which I'll explain on later so now on to the explaining. The first thing rule or thing you have to look at is the game type. And the game type I usually play because I like to die a lot is search and destroy. You know, it's very good. Not not search and destroy. Scrap that. Kill confirmed. That's what I like to do because, you know, I run around a lot. I get killed a lot, but I also get enough kills. And look at this nice two kill like that. Like a boss, man. Like a boss. You just killed all those. And he's mad because those was his kill. And I get the headshot here, but I get killed. So, oh, well, you know, who cares? You know, I got an headshot, 200 points. So, yeah, the, because I like to run around a lot and I die a lot, I, I play Kill Confirmed. And it's like an ordinary team deathmatch. Instead, as you run around, you collect dog tags. And uh, people don't usually collect dog tags, but I'm, I'm serious. Collect them. Because you get about 50 points per dog tag you pick up. And because I've got double XP, it's per 100 every time you pick it one up. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But it gives you a lot of points. And I don't know how he didn't get blinded there. I have no idea. But I'm not commentating on the gameplay. Off the gameplay, onto my voice now. So yeah, it's pretty cool I'm doing this. But if you're one of these guys that can do, um, you know, like search and destroy, do it. If you've got double XP, it's a thousand points per kill. If you get 10, you know, you get 10 kills. Yeah, it's 10,000 points just there without match bonus. So if you can do that, by all means do that. But because I'm not as good as you guys, I need to go and kill confirmed. And, you know, I get I get challenges. But, yes, yeah, so the first, if, you, if you're new and you're not really that good at the game, go for kill confirmed, pick up dog tags, and do it like that. If you've got a spare prestige token laying around, use that. The other, the other point is is kill streaks, perks and challenges. I seriously would suggest you doing challenges because let's say I'm using the P90 at the moment with a silencer. Wait, let me just hear what the gun sounds. Shoot! No, I don't know. But it's either with the P90 with a silencer or the P90 with rapid fire. And the reason why I chose um, I keep changing attachments because as soon as I complete one attachment, I move on. So let's say you need 60 kills with a silencer. As soon as I hit 60 kills, I move on to rapid fire or red, you know, dot science, um, sight, sorry. 
And I've already completed with the PP90M1. I think that's what it's called. But I've already completed everything on that. So I just changed guns. You know, that's my rape tool. I'm level 31 weapon with that and with a gold. So I've raped with that gun. I'm fine with that gun. So then I moved on to the SCAR. And I've pretty much done everything on that. Now I'm moving on to the P90. You will generally go through to... Well generally two and a little bit of a weapon before you press stage if you complete it with all that weapon if you stick to one weapon complete it like a assault assault rifle or snipe uh, not sniper assault rifle or submachine gun you will rave yeah unless you're very very good um at quick scoping or launching missiles and stuff you won't prestige or get that many points or that many kills in such a short amount of time so i would suggest going with the um, pp90 m1 scar l acr or the p90 with a silencer or p90 with actual you know no attachments or whatever attachments you want so that's what i would choose because you get a lot of points with those and if you stick through it till you get a thousand kills or 250 kills or 500 kills with a particular weapon you know, it's 10,000 points as soon as you start looking at like 500, 700, 1,000 kills. You know, and in the space of things, how many, you know, hours you play, that's no, <laughs> to be honest, because, you know, it, it adds up. So, yeah, that's my only thing about that. And the perks, I would suggest, like, sleight of hand, get 750 kills. I would do that in a probably a oh, few days. Get that get to the pro then probably change it then go to hardline then go to scavenger do all sorts of challenges any challenges that you can get look i got hardline pro on now yeah and i've got a stream conditioning and steady uh, steady aim pro because you know i like to rush around a lot of my games that's that's why i don't get many uh, kills to death i don't get like 63 kills to f two deaths because i run around a lot and extreme conditioning and steady aim, it's like as soon as you let go of sprint and you and you go back to steady aim, it's just got that quick response time on it. And it you know, it's, it's like um Stalker Pro. Uh, and it's like sleight of hand pro, where it puts up the sit you know, iron sights quicker. But yeah, just seven hundred one thousand five uh one thousand and fifty points just there. So it's pretty good. Even collecting your own dog tags after you die, you know, that's five hundred points if you got double XP, two hundred and fifty if you don't. So it's pretty epic going for those to be honest. You might as well just kill yourself just for that, but I wouldn't because you you won't get much ma match bonus and your KD will be shit. Oops, sorry. Um but yeah. The whole point of it is just you, you look at the game type, so kill confirmed you look at um, the challenges that you need to do. Keep on track with those, because you'll just prest uh, prestige in days if you if you're quick at doing challenges. If you're very good at doing challenges, so you just prestige in minutes basically. And you know, then you look at uh, your gun type, so submachine gun or assault rifle, or then you look at um, how many kills you're getting and whether or not you got double XP. And what else is there? There's kill streaks as well. What I generally go for is support because I like to get you know I like to get killed a lot. This was my first game in a while that I've done, and I did all right to say it's my first game in a while. Then I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll just look, I'll, look, I'll upload this because you know it's got a lot of points in it and it, it's very, very detailed in what I want to do because I've already created one of these videos of how to rank up fast, but it wasn't very informative, and I wasn't pleased with it. So this is the new, better HD version of it. But, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so. This is what you generally do to gain a lot of XP. Game type, assault rifles, some machine guns. I got 3,773 match bonus right there. And it's quite a lot if you think about it. You know, I get a lot of points in this. Um, you go for kill streaks. I go for support. Um, and I keep on the same ones because you usually get a lot of points. Or you can go for, you know, whatever you want with the support, but, you know, or specialist or assault, whatever you want. But look here, I get, f uh, come on, 33,903 total XP earned. And if I didn't get the challenges, which is 22,000, I would have got about 10,000 XP by just doing the match bonus and the actual match. So it's a lot of points. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Any more questions, just leave me a message or comment down on this video. See you later, guys.